see on the right, right next to the highway, these two huge giants. Uh, and these are Tyrannosaurus. Um, you can see them right off the highway. And that's basically, it's in the museum. Uh, part of the museum, actually. Yeah, you gotta figure out some ways to keep a four-year-old entertained when you're on the road. And this just seems like the best way to do it. How to raise a wild child. And um, I noticed that there was actually a rattle on the front. There was a rattle on the front here, on the rack. And it just seems like with weight, um, it pushes down just enough to give that rattle. So I, was, I actually had some rubber pads. Um, I opened it up, put some pads in, and we're good to go, I think, right now. It doesn't seem to make any more noise now. Yep. Um, this is my first time trying it out. Right now the water is about 80 degrees in it, but we only have it in there for three hours and there's not enough sun to really heat it up like it's supposed to work. But tomorrow during the day it should heat up a lot. Um, it's about 4.30 right now and I think we might just call it a night, start cooking, resting up. You have to shower after this. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. What's your best part about camping? Um, playing in the sand. Playing in the sand? Well, yeah, there is a lot of sand everywhere. Okay. What else is there? What's the second best part? Um, eating. Eating? Yeah. <laughs> How much eating do you do in camping? <laughs> oh my god. Good morning. Um, it's Tuesday morning right now and it's about 9... Yeah, it's nice to 9.30. April 16th. Last night, it got really windy. Um, wasn't a good experience. Um, it was not just windy, it was the kind of wind that actually makes you question how your rooftop tent is mounted to your truck. Um, and the strength of your rooftop tent. It was that windy. Um, I didn't sleep much at all. This guy was knocked out all night. He didn't even know what happened. Um, 
and this morning it's it kicked it up a notch um, and dust storm started blowing through so I didn't even do breakfast anything we just had cereal in the car right now packed up real fast um, and uh, we're just gonna head out right now um, we're at a campground literally right next to fence and things so we're just gonna do a quick run uh, check out the track the trail uh, I just saw like 30 Jeeps go through so that safari Jeep safari is still going on so there's a lot of traffic in any trail that we go on right now I mean it's it's crazy you think you come out Moab you got all this open trails but it's there's actually traffic there's actually off-road traffic it's it's kind of weird I wasn't expecting that um, but yeah I was gonna check that out and see uh, what's it all about but today we're actually gonna start driving towards Canyon Lens um, we're gonna take um, um, Potash Road and then Potash Road actually meets into Schaefer Trail so we'll take Schaefer Trail all the way up to Canyon Lens and then go into Canyon Lens and see the Mercer Arch um, <clears throat> yep so that's the plan for th today hopefully this wind dies down and the sun comes out that's the other thing it's a lot cooler it's cloudy here at the entrance of the uh, Hodash Trail. Hodash Trail, yeah. Um, and this is gonna lead me to, I got uh, 13 miles on the Hodash Trail and then it's gonna lead me to Schaefer Trail and Schaefer Trail is gonna get me into Canyon Lens. So that's the plan for today, um, up right now. Big old sign, Canyon Lens National Park, 11 miles. And I didn't really air down for traction on this trail. This is actually a pretty easy trail, I would say. Um, I just aired down for comfort, and that's one thing you just gotta you just gotta play with it on your vehicles. I went down to about 20, 28, and that gets me a nice smooth ride on just dirt roads. Usually, it's at I'm at 38 with all the load on it, or 40 actually sometimes. So 28 gives me a nice smooth ride, but if you uh, look at my wheels, they're not really down much at all. But it makes a big difference on the ride. And uh, traction is not an issue, so I'm not gonna go down to 20 or lower. All right, we're gonna start heading up the trail. 
Yash is already asleep. He is knocked out. Let's see what we find. River Overlook and it's also known as a gooseneck so yep it basically curves around and makes a gooseneck that's what they call it <laughs> okay you like it here it's pretty far up huh uh -huh. yep you don't want to go anywhere near the edge there no. what time is it probably around 3 p.m. and we're just entering Canyonlands National Park um, we got a little bit of ways to go we gotta go up Sheriff Trail which is the switchbacks before we get to the overlook oh. Just entered the Schaefer switchbacks. Um, and look at that view, man. Come on. Isn't that amazing? I think there's like, you can see the road looping down there. It's one, two, three, four, five. I believe it's five or six switchbacks going up to Canyonlands, which is somewhere up there. But uh, this is some climb. And we're only halfway there. Traveler on the Jeep who uh, was 
his light's been on for a while, he said. Um, and he needs to get down Schaefer Trail and all the way to Moab. So I had extra fuel and uh, we were able to help him out, get him some fuel, get back in town. But yeah, whenever you can, just try to help someone out on the trail because you never know when you'll need help yourself. But check out that view. Isn't this amazing? You don't get to see that every day. What? That's not a view? No. That is a view. No, it's not. It, it is. No, it's not. Look at that. That's a view. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Mercer Arch. We're at Mercer Arch, Yashi. Yeah.